Mr. Klein Storytime. Hello, my name is Mr. Klein. I've been an elementary school teacher for almost 30 years, and I love reading stories to young people just like you. In fact, I've got a great story that I'd like to share with you right now. So let's get started. Penny and Her Sled by Kevin Hankus. Penny and Her Sled. Chapter 1. It was winter, but there was no snow yet. Penny wanted snow. She wanted to use her new sled. Penny waited for snow at the window in her bedroom. She waited for snow at the window in the living room. When will it snow? Penny asked Mama. Soon, said Mama, but it did not snow. Penny watched for snow when she walked to school. She watched for snow when she walked home from school. Will it ever snow? Penny asked Papa. It will, said Papa, but still it did not snow. It seemed it would never snow. Do you want snow? Penny asked the babies. The babies made baby noises. Me too, said Penny. Do you want snow? Penny asked Rose. Penny made Rose nod her head. Me too, said Penny. At night, Penny pretended the stars were bright snowflakes far, far away. It is snowing somewhere, Rose, said Penny. One afternoon, Penny wore her scarf and sat on her sled in the living room. Maybe this will make it snow, she thought. It did not make it snow. One night, Penny wore her mittens to bed. Maybe this will make it snow, she thought. That night, Penny dreamed it was snowing. The snowflakes in her dream were as big and fat as marshmallows. Penny ate the snowflakes with a fork. When she woke up, there was no snow. Penny hugged Rose. I do not think it will ever snow, she said. Chapter 2 Weeks passed. It was cold. The sky was gray. The air was damp. But there was no snow. Penny could not go sledding, but she did other things. She went ice skating with Mama. She went on walks with Papa. She drank a lot of hot cocoa. Penny kept her sled in the corner of her bedroom. She thought her sled looked sad. Another week passed, and another, and another. Still, there was no snow. I do not think it is going to snow, said Penny. Maybe you're right, said Mama. There's always next year, said Papa. Next year is a long time from now, said Penny. She was quiet for a moment. Then she said, if there is no snow, I will use my sled for something else. Chapter 3 Penny used her sled to make a bridge for her glass animals. Then Penny used her sled to make a house for the babies. After that, Penny used her sled to make a bed for Rose. My mitten is your pillow, Penny told Rose. My scarf is your blanket. Rose napped all afternoon. That night, Penny put Rose's bed next to her own. Good night, Rose, said Penny. You are in your own grown-up bed. Penny was lonely in her bed without Rose. Penny's bed felt too big without Rose. Penny got Rose and tucked her in beside her. Sleep tight, Rose, said Penny. 
You will never sleep alone again. The next day, Penny pretended her sled was a magic carpet. Penny pulled Rose around the world. This is New York, Penny told Rose. Now we are in Japan, said Penny. It is cold and snowy at the North Pole, said Penny. Button your coat. Penny played with her sled every day. After a while, she played with it less and less. One day, Penny put her sled back in the corner of her room. She played with other things. Chapter 4 The days were getting longer. The days were getting warmer. Penny still thought about snow from time to time. Penny said, It was fun to wait for snow when I thought it would come but I do not want to wait for it any more. You could wait for something else, said Mama. What? asked Penny. You could wait for spring, said Mama. Spring is too big a thing to wait for, said Penny. Mama was quiet for a moment. You could wait for something small that is part of spring, said Mama. She smiled. You could wait for a different kind of snow. Penny knew only one kind of snow. What other kind of snow is there? asked Penny. Snow drops, said Mama. You could wait for snow drops. They are the first flowers to come up in the garden every year. Penny made a funny face. Snowdrops are not real snow, she said. No, they are not, said Mama, but snowdrops do not melt, and they smell nice. When they come up, you can pick some and put them in your room. Penny and Mama went outside. They went to the garden. Everything was brown. Nothing is growing, said Penny. Things are growing under the ground, said Mama. The flowers are waiting for spring, too. Mama showed Penny where the snowdrops would come up. What if the snowdrops are like the snow, said Penny. What if the snowdrops do not come up this year? They will, said Mama. That's what you said about the snow, said Penny. Mama was quiet for a moment. I remember a few years when it did not snow, Mama said, but I do not remember a year without snowdrops. Penny smiled. Good, she said. Then I will wait for snowdrops. Chapter 5 Penny waited for the snowdrops. She looked for them every day. Penny looked for snowdrops in the garden before she went to school. She looked for snowdrops in the garden after school. Remember, Rose, snowdrops do not melt, said Penny, and they smell nice. We can pick some and put them in our room. Soon, tiny green shoots came up in the garden. Is that grass? asked Penny. Those are snowdrops, said Mama. They will bloom soon. More green shoots came up. They grew a little bit and a little bit more. The snowdrops are almost ready, said Penny. Yes, they are, said Mama. Yes, they are, said Papa. And then one sunny day when Penny came home from school, snowdrops were blooming in the garden. Penny ran into the house to tell Mama. Mama, she said, the snowdrops are here. Wonderful, said Mama. Show me. Penny led the way. She stopped suddenly. Wait, she said, I have to get something. Penny got Rose, 
and she got her sled. Then Penny put on her mittens and her scarf. Mama was waiting. She laughed when she saw Penny. Penny pulled Rose out to the garden. Rose, we finally have snow, said Penny. Penny, Rose, and Mama looked at the snowdrops for a long time. They look like snowflakes, said Penny. Yes, they do, said Mama. Then Penny picked one snowdrop for herself and one for Rose. Penny took the snowdrops inside. Mama put them in a little vase. The snowdrops smelled nice. And best of all, they did not melt. The End Thank you for coming to Storytime. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I read new stories every week, so be sure to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to hear another one. Hope to see you again soon.